Well, hello guys, and welcome to a game called Open Raw. This is a game I've been playing for quite a while. And instead of doing like a quick thing over in just like one video, you know, me playing a game with a couple of friends and whatever, I've decided to decide to show you guys some strategies. So this is going to be strategy number one. I'm just facing an easy AI. Um, but this is the unstable version. There's two versions of Open Raw. This is the unstable version. Um, According to when I asked people about how many people play this game, on the unstable version it's less than 10 people apparently, which is not very good. So I, so I want to increase the popularity of this, because I've went on YouTube, you know, there's not a whole lot of videos on this game, and I think it does deserve a lot of videos. Um, it's a brilliant game, it's a perfect strategy game, um, it's based on the original PS1 game, so let's get head on to this, and hopefully, yeah, look. See, on the um, unstable version, um, it does not allow you to um, to put on AI into your lobbies unless it's a private or stuff like that. Whereas now, if I go into a server, I can, and if I become the admin, I can add AI. They've also added in um, a lot of extra features compared to the uh, this. This is basically the unstable version is always is working towards the next stable version. And then once the next stable version comes out and they start, you know, then the unstable version becomes, they start adding features on it, it gets a lot more buggy. But at the minute, the unstable version is pretty stable. I haven't found anything where it's crashed. I'm actually finding at the minute that the unstable version is better than the stable version. Now you can download this game by their website, um, openraw.com I think it is, or something like that. You know, you search openraw on the um, on Google and you find it. Um, it's also available on Dezora. Um, Dezora, uh, the the a lot of the developers, um, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> let me get my words out. Um, the developers regularly um, put their new updates onto the um, onto Dezora. They don't they don't really do much with the website um, because basically. This or is, you know, a bigger market for them. You know, pe people don't really play this game, and I think that's um, that's a disappointment. So basically, let's get into this game, and I'll show you a couple of, and I'll show you a couple of strategies, and I'll just play the game. Um, now, this is what you start off with. You start off with this little bot thing, and then basically you get all these construction things. It basically it's not one of those games where you click and stuff like that. You you can use your arrow keys to move. You can Use this to move, but of course, because, because of um, I'm recording this in windowed version. Um, now the windowed version isn't as thing as that. So this is a power plant. Now you need power plants to power all of your stuff. If you look, uh, it's kind of like I don't I don't think I've correctly um, built this right because you know stuff is overlapping. But if you see where it says plus a hundred and then yeah, that's how much. So the top one is how much the building costs. Um, the next one is how much power it will give you or take away. Then the next one is the build time of that. So basically, this building all the kind of Now this is where all your money gets from, and there's two types of ores in the game. There's crystals, and then there's this. I think it's. I think this is just cool ore. And basically, this regenerates, whereas crystals don't. But you get more money for crystals. So if I build this, and then, and we uh. Hopefully the bot won't attack me. Um, you can also build defences from here, but as you can see, look, it, some things require certain buildings. I'm sorry about this. You know, I should have probably increased the size a bit. Um, I'll do that next time. Sorry about that. Because obviously the window version is a bit buggy and it doesn't scale things down, which is which is a shame because this is a good game. So look, if I build this and look, now I've got a, I've got an ore truck, and then this will go along and get stuff for me. So now let's build a barracks, and let's have a look at some of the troops that we can build. So sort of what I'm trying to do here is I'm teaching you strategies, and I'm, um, you know, showing you how to play the game at the minute. This is basically the basics, this is how you learn to play. If you enjoy this game, um, then you know, say yes. So let's go through what troops there are. So if I build a... Now to start off with, it's usually best to build a couple of, um, couple of troops to protect yourself. So let's go through each one whilst these troops build. Um, infantry is the quickest thing to build. Oh, and that's a crate thing that's just gone past. Um, so if you see one of them and drops a crate, go pick it up. Sometimes they're explosive, sometimes they're not, stuff like that. 
But let's go through the troops. Rifle and infantry, this is the most basic unit you can build. Um, and it's and it's designed to take on uh, other infantry. It's perfect at taking out other infantry. So it's the best at taking out rocket infantry. It's the best at taking out engineers. It's the best at taking out Tanya. Stuff like that. Uh, rocket soldiers are designed for taking on on um, aircraft and vehicles, which is good. And then the medic is something that heals your troops during combat, so you can bring them back to your base, heal them, stuff like that. Then the next one is the engineer. This allows you to capture enemy buildings. You can capture any enemy building you want. Uh, also, on some of the maps, you'll see that you can capture oil rigs. Um, but because I'm just doing this on a simple map, you, you, you won't get to see that kind of thing, I don't think. I've never played on this map. Um, the spy... Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, the, the spy is someone who's able to disguise himself as an enemy troop and then it will trait, so you can see what your enemies are doing. The mechanic, uh, this is a new one, I'm not, I believe this repairs vehicles as it goes, this is part of the unstable version, this will not be in the stable version, I do not think. Um, I may be wrong, I don't know, because they release updates regularly, and I can't, the amount of updates that they release, you know, it's pretty hard to keep up with what's going on, what they've added, what they're going to do, stuff like that. Uh, Tanya is a, uh, is a hero, you know, so if you've played games like Empire Earth and stuff, um, Tanya is basically a hero, she's great at taking out, I think it's vehicles, and then she has special abilities, um, C4 I believe it is. Um, of course you can't see this because um, my thing is going off the thing, I'm sorry about that. But let, let's continue on. So, the next thing I'm going to build is a war factory. Um, a war factory is where you build all your vehicles from. Now, if you're wondering, um, if if you're wondering why uh, you don't build more than one barracks, because it does not affect, um, it, it, troops won't come out of both of them. I. Uh, this is this is just because of how the game was built. You know, they're trying to keep it based on the PS1 game, but they're also trying to add new features to it and upgrade it so that it's better for the PC. Now, I I really enjoy this game. Um, and stuff like that. So whilst I'm just waiting for this war factory to build, um, let's just go over the basics of moving troops. So it's the, it's the basic of every single real-time strategy that you play. You basically select your troops that you want and then you right-click. And then obviously right-clicking moves them. And obviously if there's an enemy unit they'll instantly lock onto it. Um, another problem with the unstable version is that they'll shoot down cargo planes which when they hit the ground they explode. Yeah. So now that I've just built this, look it gives you an option of vehicles. Um, there, are, there is two factions on on this game. Um, the Allies, so basically America, Britain, stuff like that, and you got the Swatsnik, Swatsnik. I, I don't know if that's how you say it, but Russians. Basically, the Russians have a lot more different types of uh, stuff like that. You know, ba ba basically they get extra stuff and. People prefer playing as the Russians because they get better tanks, you know, more powerful tanks, but allies can spam troops a lot quicker. Or, well, can spam vehicles a lot quicker, let's say, like that. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another ore truck, because the more money you've got coming in, the better. I'm also going to build some more troops. Um, obviously I'm facing easy AI, um, because I, I, I didn't want to get fucked over and stuff like that. But obviously, you can play this game however you want. You can play against other players. This is all based on. This game is based online, so if you don't have an internet connection, um, it might. Well, <laughs> if you don't have an internet connection, you won't be able to get this game anyway. Now, as you can see, look, I've just got this, and then basically you just right click, and then it off it goes. Now, as you can see, this stuff regenerates over time. I don't know what I call it, I think it's just ore, um, stuff like that. So as you can see, I'm get, I'm building up a nice army. Now the only thing wrong with infantry is that they they can be killed easily. They don't have armor. They don't have stuff like that. They're not able to protect themselves that much. They're great if you're um, under attack and you need some defense and you need to protect yourself and stuff like that. But mainly people focus on getting the advanced stuff. So I'm gonna quickly go away from the troops and talk about some of the defenses. Um, defenses are can only be built within a certain radius of your base. Um, oh look, as you can see, look, I'm under attack. Um, basically with the AI, it, it is quite um, fun. 
So l l let's get a pillbox because obviously they're uh, the spamming troops at me. And now, as you can see, look, these troops have uh, upgraded in rank. Um, the more rank they get, the harder they are to kill. You know, the more advanced they get you know, and stuff like that. So if I build this pillbox just here, then that will offer me protection. Um, now. There's the pillbox and then there's a the camo pillbox. The camo pillbox is something, uh, it's camouflage and they can't see it until um, one of their units gets close enough to discover it. The turret is designed for taking out um, tanks and stuff like that. It can still take out infantry, stuff like that. But it's targeted to, it's greatest efficiency is against tanks. Um, the next is the AA gun. Now the AA gun is a gun that targets air. Um, the gap generator. This is something that shrouds your area, so when they get a radar station, they can't see you. The Chrono Spear is something that allows you to teleport vehicles across from one side of the map to the other for 2 minutes. No, sorry, for 30 seconds. The Missile sil Silo is a nuclear device, um, so you're able to fly nukes. Um, you can also build sandbags and concrete walls. Now apparently you can drag this, but I've never been able to get that working, and stuff like that. But now let's go and get another power plant. Ugh, stomach ache. So no, basically, with the more power you got, the quicker scuff builds. I believe this is the truth. Um, I'm sorry if I'm lying. But now let's get a radar dome. And the radar dome provides something where we can see um, the entire map and see what our enemies are doing. And also, it allows you a quicker thing to you know scout around the map and stuff. So now I'm going to quickly go over all the vehicles ability, uh, I mean all the um, buildings abilities. So the power plant provides power for uh, the buildings. The ore refinery is something that you build close to ore so that you can get your money to build your things. The advanced power plant is something that is more advanced so you get more power. So instead of plus 100 you get plus 200. The barracks is something where you're able to manufacture troops or infantry. Service depot is something where you can repair your tanks and stuff like that. Stuff like that. Navy body is where you can build ships. I won't be able to show you ships on this map because there is no um, water. Um, silo is where you store excess um, thing. Your guy will be screwing that out. Obviously, you can't hear um, sound. There is sound in this game. It's it's not you know functional and stuff like that. The wall factory is where you build your troops. Uh, this. And there you go. This is the radar's ability. It allows you to ping. But um, eventually, look. Ah, yes, perfect. Now, as you can see here, look. This guy's just dropped a crate. So if you send one of your infantry over to get it, then you get stuff from it. Um, hopefully, this isn't an explosive, but as it is, you can uh, watch what it does. Oh, look, and it's given me a ranger. It's very nice. Now. The helipad. The helipad is something where you're able to build helicopters. Duh. Uh, the tech center is where you uh, where you're able to advance your stuff. So as you can see, some of this stuff is locked until you get service depot or an allied tech center and stuff like that. So let's let's get the service depot, and then we shall continue from there. Now I could probably attack and take out the enemies, but I don't know what the AI bot does and um, stuff like that. Now, obviously, if you're on an island map, make sure you pick the um, island, the island AI, because if not, they don't build ships because of the way that the AI has been coded. So yes, the AI isn't great. You know, it does have bugs. It does just, but I think the easy AI just spams stuff. Now, as you can see, look, I can't build this far away from the base because it's within a building radius. But yeah, I can build it here. So let me just build this, and then it will say. Um, new vehicles are able to be built. So now, oh yeah, this is some of the new, new um, other stuff. You can build a chrono tank, which allows you to teleport stuff like that. But let's get um, what do I want? Let's get a helipad so that I can show you helicopters. Um, one of my trucks dying. No. So let, let's get a couple of vehicles. Uh, I'm going to build a couple of. Uh, artillery and a couple of medium tanks and a couple of light tanks and basically I'm going to set their thing basically you click on the vehicle then you right 
I mean, and you set a rally point, you click on the building and you right click, and then you look. So look, this is a helipad, uh, once I find a place for it to be able to be built, just here, and stuff like that. Now, um, artillery is um, effective at killing off troops. Um, it's, no, it's no good against tanks and stuff like that because it dies really easily. But it has a long range that it can take out vehicles if they don't get close enough. Ugh. So, let's get the, um, oh, look, as you can see, if it goes red, this minus 200 that you can see in the bottom right corner, that means it does not have enough power um, to, to build it, so you basically, loot, all your stuff would lose power. So basically, I need to get an advanced power station to build power. Also, if you see underneath the um, minimap, you can see how much power is provided, then how much is being um, used. So, I've currently got... I'm providing 200 power and 175 175 is being used. Um, I've only just noticed that feature, um, <laughs> which obviously shows a lot. I'm pretty much a noob. If if you want to face online players, make sure you know how to play this game first, because advanced players will absolutely kick your ass. That's my advice. Um, I, 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 I will attack the enemy in a minute. <laughs> in a minute. Um, if you've noticed, it also, it, this game also provides, you know, some good scenery. It's not exactly the best graphical advanced game. But graphics aren't everything in a game. For example, loads of people still play Mario. You know, the original Mario. And do people moan about... Look, yeah, here we go. Look, the, um, my artillery is absolutely destroying them. You get, um... Oh god. See, this is just easy, easy AI. Can you imagine what you're uh, facing against when you're uh, stuff like that? So, as you can see, the AI does attack you quite a lot. Uh, let's get that just there. Now, hopefully, I can afford. Oh, I can't afford it. So sorry. But now that they've been attacked, let's go get their base. Let's go see if we can attack it and hopefully destroy it. I say hopefully. Um, is this? Oh, that's an ore thing. Ah, oh, look. Hello. See, look, they're sending their ore trucks. Um, the one thing about artillery is that it does uh, do friendly fire. And so you may kill off some of your own troops when you're using a... Uh... Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Here's a, here's a Tesla coil. Um, artillery can shoot when you can't physically see them. Um, but let's go in and see if we can uh, kill them off. Obviously, if I lose this, this will look very bad. But hopefully, um, that won't happen. Oh, and look, as you can see, I'm uh, poorly destroying them. Now, obviously, to cripple an enemy, a good idea would be to uh, attack the power plants, or maybe to attack their uh, their ore refineries so that they can't get any more uh, stuff. If you destroy the um, MCV or your main building, this thing, then uh, they won't be able to build anything. So, uh, as you can see, look, I've crippled their defenses, and now hopefully I should be able to win. Let's get rid of. Basically, you win once. Um, uh, look, is it? No. <laughs> so that guy should die. That's if my uh, artillery shoots. I want to shoot you, bastard. Uh. So obviously, as you can see, I've lost all of my troops. But a good idea would be just to get you know some more troops and just prepare to defend yourself now I'm gonna quickly uh, pause the game because I need a poop so I'll be back in a minute um, sorry for this but you know when you need to poop you need to poop I've been playing this for seven mi 17 minutes and 10 seconds so I don't know how long this is gonna be I might just stop it here um, I think I've taught you the basics but 
if, if you want more of this, you know, leave a comment. Um, if you want to know where you can download the game or you want to know any other information, uh, please leave a like and a comment and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I think I've told you most of the stuff that you need to know. Of course, if I've missed anything, um, I apologise. But hopefully you understand the basics and hopefully you understand what this game is all about. Thanks for listening. Uh, I'm Major Smurf. I need to go poop. And um, I'll probably see you next time if you want more of this or whether I just decide to record more of this. Hopefully I'll get some friends in and stuff like that. Stuff like that.